Hi students, welcome to my videos on uh, process plant operator training using simulator. And uh, please uh, follow my earlier lectures to make you understand much better way. Okay, let us come to the today's topic uh, which is called fixed bed reactor operation uh, in an industry. And uh, normally fixed bed reactors are used in a kind of cracking operations in petroleum industries and uh, especially and if you remember your chemical reaction engineering and then normally cracking operation takes place uh, to convert bigger molecules into uh, to smaller molecules okay i mean, I mean uh, this is called cracking operations normally cracker and cracking operations done by introducing the hydrogen in the feed the typical feed stock for the cracking operations are at the bottoms of the distillation column if you remember the distillation column and uh, once the crude oil is fractionated and uh, you know the all the lighter vapors are coming from the top and the heavier heavier or leftovers are the bottoms normally typically uh, if it is an atmospheric distillation column uh, then uh, the bottoms which is I mean, no, uh, left in the bottom of the reboiler is sometimes uh, it is called atmospheric gas oil uh, if it is a vacuum distillation column then that is normally name as a vacuum gas oil so the gas oils are typically very bigger molecules and viscous molecules and as such there is no commercial uh, no value to it so what the people do is uh, they crack that means the normally this is a vacuum gas oil components are larger molecular weight in nature so once you crack and you get a smaller fractions like diesel you know like you know uh, uh, what I mean to say is kerosene, you no know, uh, paraffins. I mean, more paraffins will come. I know all the olefins will be, I mean, converted to the paraffins, aromatics will come. So, uh, these are of value as compared to the gas oils. So, this is the typical, you uh, know, uh, uh, operations people do in industry. This is called cracking. So, for the cracking, the important is feedstock, which is a vacuum ga gas oil, which is viscous and high molecular weight in nature. Second is hydrogen. What hi what the hydrogen will do at high temperature? It will break the bigger molecules into smaller molecules. Once a thing, a any molecule is get cracked, you have to occupy that cracked space. That the cracked space will be occupied with the hydrogen. Okay, so that it will become a complete molecule. Mm. That is the I mean. Uh, uh, basic behind a cracking operation and interaction of the hydrogen sometimes uh, people use it for the desulfurization process also they i mean uh, everything is going to take place in a fixed bed reactor for anything reaction to take place you need to take uh, the help of the catalyst okay normally noble metals and you know, no bimetallic catalyst typically used uh, for this operation to take place for the because using the catalyst you are going to reduce the i mean uh, temperatures and you know, speed of the reaction you can enhance okay because the catalyst does the job of reducing the activation energy so uh, it is faster as compared to the without catalyst okay this is called catalytic cracking okay there is other uh, the other thermal cracking also there because uh, using the temperature itself people will crack the molecules but today uh, it's called the fixed bed reactor that means a catalyst is there, is there inside where the feed and hydro feed stock which is a vacuum or gas oil or any oil along with the hydrogen will be pumped into the reactor so there the cracking operation takes place the product will come out of the fixed bed reactor and uh, uh, in this uh, a fixed bed reactor the catalyst plays a major role so uh, not catalyst water sometimes no catalyst will not show activity as it shows at the beginning of the reaction as the reaction as the time uh, for the reaction increases the catalytic activities might get reduced in such cases uh, what happens uh, either you increase the temperature I mean uh, for the to compensate a reduction in the catalyst I mean activity what happens let us say so at some point of time the catalyst activity has been reduced imagine it's a catalyst may be active at 80 i mean 0.8 activity so the catalyst activity has reduced it to 0.6 example but our convert because if you reduce the catalytic activity my conversion of this reaction will also get reduced so sometimes what people do is to balance even though the catalyst activity is reduced to increase the conversion what happens people will rise the temperature 
okay if you raise the temperature uh, what happens uh, you don't need to compromise in the final conversions because at high temperatures you know the catalyst will show higher activities so that is how the people that is even though the catalyst activity is reduced you can speed up the reaction by increasing the temperature this is how the industrially people will compensate for the reduction in the catalytic activity even though catalytic activity is reduced by increasing the temperature we can maintain the same conversion at the initial stages this is what we are supposed to see in this simulator okay let us go to the simulator mode you will understand much better hope you are seeing the screen this is the reactor okay and uh, inside the reactor you can see the uh, three beds of the catalyst were placed there is uh, some space I mean between the two beds where you can introduce some quenching uh, quenching gases I mean quenching gases are introduced to reduce the temperature and to control the reaction okay here the uh, what the feedstock is going through hand indicating control let's say 50 percent is open presently along with the hydrogen which is also valve is 50 percent open both are going into the reactor okay the flow of the feed is this much uh, 1,39,573 kg per hour and the second I mean Hydrogen is around uh, uh, 19,594 uh, 19, kilogram per hour. Both are mixed and sent into the reactor. You can imagine the inlet of this particular reaction is 397.01 degrees centigrade. And here AI001 is indicating the activity of the catalyst. Presently, at this moment, the catalytic is, activity is 76%. Okay. And what is the other indicator you just see? there is two gases i mean two lines that are going into the reactor these are called quench gases quench gases itself sometimes the hydrogen it itself is pumped into the reactor what happens what is the temperature of the quench gases is around uh, i don't know 390 i mean you can see uh, the present the process value is 390 <coughs> and the set value is also 390 sometimes uh, quench gases are introduced because let us say hydrogen might have used up before it reaches to the center of the bed what happens uh, in such cases you pump hydrogen uh, along uh, at the end of the first bed you can see at the end of the second bed too to increase the i mean make up hydrogen because hydrogen might have reacted in the rea i mean reactor one itself that means to compensate for the to control the temperatures and to control the reactivity and the hydrogen gas is introduced as a quench gas in the beds at the intermediate positions and you can see <coughs> there is two more controllers are there uh, what is the control of the quench gas it measures the temperature here accordingly it will uh, send um, a signal to the valve to open much more or less because if the temperature is more what happens your quenching has to be more okay if temperature is less in the reactor I mean you have to I mean because if temperature is less in the reactor don't quench the system okay uh, because the reaction is already underrated okay if the temperature is higher inside the reactor accordingly it will measure the temperature and more flow should go in to control the temperature that is why these two lines are quenching gas one and quenching gas two <coughs> To, this is to maintain the temperature in central temperature inside the packet bed reactor and what are the other observations <clears throat> in the first bed the temperature is 379 in the second bed it is 390 and 399 of course it is possible in the uh, fixed bed reactor because more reaction happens as you go along the bed so lower temperature is possible at the initial cases and higher temperature is possible at the later cases because of the increase in the conversion what is the inlet pressure here to the reactor is 174.61 kg per centimeter square and outlet pressure for the reactor is around 163.10 see you can see the drop in pressure okay 174 to 176 of course you already know in the fluid mechanics or mechanical unit operation subject you have learned the pressure drop happens if there is a resistance caused to the flow which is the bed itself will cause the resistance of course there will be high pressure at the inlet and low pressure at the outlet so that is why inter differential pressure also is taken you can see differential pressure reading also dpi005 the differential pressure between the bed 1 and bed 2 is 0.96 okay delta p so and the indicators you can see at different uh, positions different indicators are given <coughs> what is the present conversion that is happening 76.94 conversion the important 
thing you have to observe is the catalytic activity will not remain the same in the reactor okay let us say if this catalytic activity 76 will down to 74 what happens if the catalytic activity is less the reaction that happens inside the bed of the catalyst will be re reduced accordingly the temperature will get down because less is the activity less is the reaction less is the temperature so what happens quench gas this, uh, because less is the temperature if less is the reactivity i mean activity less is the temperature accordingly you should not quench it much further what happens it will sense the reduction in temperature accordingly it will give a signal the set value if the process value is less than the set value automatically the flow should reduce into the reactor okay because the quench gas is further reduce the temperature that is why if already the low temperature conditions existing in the fixed bed reactor the flow should be more flow should be avoided to the fixed bed reactor similarly these two lines normally there will be separate lines because uh, the temperature varies you no know, very drastically at the inlet and outlet that is why there is two, two lines separately going because one line is going uh, between the bed one and bed two second line is going uh, between the bed two and bed three so always it is uh, advisable uh, to put the streams at different locations where you can expect the different temperatures that exist inside the reactor two kinds of disturbances i can give one is i can alter the catalytic activity and second thing is I can increase the flow rate of the hydrogen. If I increase the, the flow rate of hydrogen, what happens? More cracking is going to take place. Accordingly, uh, you can observe uh, the flow. What is the flow that is happening? See, if I increase the hydrogen into the reactor, observe what happens to the quench gas flow rates. So what happens to my conversion? Okay, these are the things you have to observe while I am operating the simulator mode. Let us change, let us increase the flow of hydrogen here and observe what is the conversions and what is the flows uh, and what are the temperatures inside the reactor. Everything you have to going to observe. And second, I mean, uh, kind of uh, uh, disturbance you can give, reduce the catalytic activity. See what happens to my temperature. Accordingly, how my valve is going to react to the reduction in temperature. These are the things we are supposed to see. So let us, let me change uh, the hand indicating control. Let me open this hydrogen ball a bit, I mean, higher position. Let us see what happens. Let me see what's a model is in run condition. Yes, now it is run condition. Let allow me to open this particular valve to a higher position. Let us say what you people, what the student, dear students, what you're supposed to do, you have to observe the changes. What's happening inside the reactor accordingly, what signal it is giving, how the valve, what is the conversion here. Okay, all this. Let me change this to 60%. See what happens. The moment I increase the hydrogen flow rate to the feed, automatically more cracking is happening. So my conversion has been raised. And second, what happens to my flow? What happens to my temperature? You can see here. Is it bringing any changes in the temperature? Let us observe. Because this is a very slow, I mean, this process is a very, I mean, lazy process inside the fixed bed reactor. So let me speed up the simulation time <clears throat> and observe the things. See the flow inside is getting you know increased. That means the process value you can see 41, 41, 61. Okay, 41.6 to 41.63. You can see <clears throat> why it is increasing because more reaction is happening inside. So yeah, accordingly, you have to control the things. So the quench gas, okay, the flow rate of the quench gas has been increased to control the reaction, to control the temperature. Okay, that is what that is why it's called quench gas. You can observe what is the quench gas inlet temperature and quench gas outlet temperature. Now what is the process value here? TIC, FIC. See, this is what. This is how dynamics can be observed. Uh, no, uh, once what is happening inside the reactor. <clears throat> See the process value here. Uh, set value that here the set value is 390.01. Now the process value is 390.15. Accordingly, it will increase the flow now. Because inside the temperature is getting raised to compensate for the increasing temperatures, automatically the more quench gas is going into the reactor. And of course, uh, you can see the conversion has been increased. 
we we should not you know focus on increasing the conversion only because we have to see at uh, the temperature of the reactor also because sometimes at uh, the if it crosses the design temperature the reactor meltdown is going to take place it might affect our catalyst also because normally as such catalyst will not be degraded with increasing temperature normally uh, if if it is a carbon based catalyst also because there is a chance of you no know, centering process going to take place which will affect the activity of the catalyst it's better to avoid the high temperatures to maintain the catalytic activity around uh, 76% which is the, it is designed for so i hope you understand the uh, uh, how the pressure uh, high why high pressure is on the ins inlet why low pressure is on the outlet why the quench gas is introduced at different locations uh, and what happens if my increase the hydrogen feed what is my catalytic activity <clears throat> see everything is dynamic process here i hope uh, you have learned how, what is the uses of the packed bed reactor and it is important to crack to get a value added products because especially the petroleum industries enough after the pack distillation or no, the bottoms whatever has been left over at the bottoms you have to crack it to make it much valuable products okay these are the things you are supposed to uh, learn in the simulator and uh, this is for it and uh, thank you this is dr surendra signing off for today